And we're back here at the Education Center at the Madison Square Liquor Mart. And what a beautiful place it is. And what yes, beautiful gorgeous. recipes you brought. We, well, uh, let's, we, uh, Mexico and then the Eastern Seaboard. Mm -hmm. And now we're off to North Africa. North Africa. So this is a really neat uh, recipe. It's kind of the... It's very hip and happening, and it's going Whoa. to take over just like a hummus does. It's a roasted red pepper, and we're using pecans. And so we're going to put this as a food processor, so it's simple. That's great. Put the pecans in there. We have the roasted red pepper. Now, you can do it on the stove, uh, and you just want to char it or in the oven under broil, and you want the whole skin to be taken off. And then the trick is, after that, you take this, and you let it steam in a paper bag. Ah, right. I forgot about that. it up. Let trick. it steam. And then you get something like this, and then you can easily just peel off, off the, the skin. skin. And that's just as simple like you that. You take all the seeds take out, Take all right? the seeds out, and it just peels off just... Like, it Just, can't be any easier than that. And it gives the flavor such depth. Yep, so it does. So we're just going to add that. That goes into the food processor, just like that. And then some of our seasonings. We have some chili peppers for a little heat, little lemon juice. A little garlic. Garlic, of course. We need garlic. Some cumin. Again. And uh, breadcrumbs. That's it like that. The very fine breadcrumbs. Very fine breadcrumbs. <laughs> Add that on, turn it around. Did you need salt and pepper? Is that good enough? I think I'll add it at the end. Let's okay. give it a taste. So and now I'm just going to slowly add in canola, and now you're going to multiply it. How much? About a quarter of a quarter cup. cup. Take it off. Now I'm going to just mix it around. That was easy. Isn't that a simple? And you can use this dish for everything. So we're going to serve it with uh, some great croutons and some veggies, but you can make a pizza out of it. So I just really? want, Yeah, it, so you're going to make this so, delicious pizza. So instead of a tomato uh, sauce, you put that? Or a pesto sauce. We're going to do a nut and butter sauce. Oh. So let's add it onto our grill pan. A nut and butter sauce. We have a great new recipe book that's out with... Um, that okay, you, you can spread. call. Yes. You spread that. Spread. I'm going to hold this up so everyone can see it. That you can call 982-2122 and order the book or go on canolarecipes.ca and get it. And that's, you know, for everyone who calls in, we'll send them out a book. And speaking of recipes, everyone can get all the recipes from today's show and all of our shows. All you have to do is this. All right. We're just putting the finishing touches mm -hmm. on this. Uh, the nut and better sauce. Nut and better prudent pizza. <laughs> You're gonna, it's going to be your new favorite. And this spread, you can use it for, you know, again, like a dip or a pizza or add it to pasta or put it on chicken. It's so versatile, just like canola oil. You can use it for anything. And if you go to canolainfo.org, they have tons of recipes on there showing you what you can do. Now, am I sprinkling some... Cheese. I love cheese on my pizza. So, you, But, you know, you could use whatever you want. Now, what cheese is this? This is just... Um, like a cheddar? A or? cheddar, yeah. A nice full flavor cheddar. Oh, this is lovely. Now, this will go uh, in the oven. onto the baking sheet, into the oven, not for very long, probably. No, because we're using a tortilla as a crust. So, really, 10 minutes at 400 degrees. Ooh. Very quick. Okay. Very quick. Al will be with <laughs> us very quick right after this. Looks great.